As if the injustice involved in the Brock Turner case couldn't get any worse, there are now reports that he could possibly tour high school campuses in order to give speeches to students about the negative impact of alcohol and promiscuity. Oh, oh, don't do that. So during this case, and by the way, for those of you who might have missed this story, Brock Turner was the former Stanford University swimmer who was caught raping a woman who was unconscious behind a dumpster. He was uh, found guilty, and he only got a six-month jail sentence, which was cut short to only three months because of good behavior. Now, uh, according to Mediaite, there was talk during the trial of him launching a speaking tour during which he would visit high schools and give these lectures on drinking and promiscuity. And now that idea is back in the spotlight. Why is it in the spotlight? Well, a Stanford professor just wrote an opinion piece in the Huffington Post about it. And she very correctly stated, until Brock Turner apologizes, he should not be allowed to speak on campuses. And also, any campus appearance must be conditioned on his taking full responsibility for his actions, apologizing to the victim, and condemning sexual assault. All three things that he refused to do even after his conviction. So uh, oftentimes, um, a lot of defendants are browbeaten into confess, confess, confess. Uh, and if you say how remorseful you are, maybe we'll give you a more lenient sentence. In this case, he didn't have to, he got a lenient sentence anyway. Mm -hmm. So he never had to go through that kind of force remorse. Uh, but to me, the most unbelievable part of the story, and I really, I can't, I literally can't believe they're thinking of doing this. Mm -hmm. I, I'm wondering if it's a rumor, I don't know what it is, but if he actually tries to do this, it is way beyond the pale. Because it's, first of all, the, the drinking part. It seems like you're saying, ah, don't drink too much, otherwise you'll rape women behind the dumpster. Yeah, there are plenty of people who drink, who get drunk, and aren't immediately, you know, convinced that it's a good idea to go rape people. Yeah, so it seems like you didn't get it at all. Yeah. And go around college campuses further um, misinforming people is not at all helpful. But that's actually, to me, the less offensive of the two parts. Yeah. Promiscuity, wait a minute, wait a minute. It sounds like you're saying it wasn't rape. She was being promiscuous. That's exactly right. Oh my God, don't do that. You were convicted on this thing. And and you already got away with it. Don't rub it in everybody's face. Go hide in a cave for like 10 years. Hope that people forget. Like, I mean, I don't know why I'm giving you helpful advice, but if you do this, you become a pariah. Well, this is insanity. Here's the interesting thing. So yesterday, Ben and I were talking about Brock Turner and how there are, you know, groups of people outside his home trying to carry out vigilante justice. Some people are completely peaceful protesters, not trying to cause any problems, but trying to voice their opinion on his light sentence. And then some people are showing up armed, right? Which, Oof, which do I'm that. worried about because I don't want anyone to get hurt. Okay, I, I think that you open a can of worms that you don't want to open in cases like that. But the argument that I made was, even if in our criminal justice system we feel that justice was not served, in the court of public opinion, his life is destroyed, right? Mm -hmm. Who's going to hire him? Who's going to pay him to do anything? And then you come across a story like this, and he could possibly do the speaking tour and get paid for it. No, I, I don't do we that. can't. We cannot allow that. Okay, it sends a really bad message. His message is a really bad message, and it also you know, rewards bad behavior. Yeah, so let me be clear on a couple of things. Don't go to his house. We're, we're, look, whatever injustice happened, happened. Uh, if you start getting into vigilante stuff, that's a really bad dark road to go down. Don't bring weapons, terrible idea. And by the way, there's some misdirected anger here. So perfectly sensible to be worried about this injustice. But, but actually the bigger injustice is that he gets a lenient sentence while others do not. Right, that we have an unequal justice system. So I don't want people coming away from this thinking we've got to be harsher on all defendants. That's, that's not the correct message. We just want an equal justice system. Mm -hmm. Either treat everybody like Brock Turner or treat everybody harshly, but, but have one system, not unequal justice. So that's the main point. Now you're getting misdirected by going to his house and all that nonsense. But now Brock Turner isn't going to help himself if he goes out there and is like, uh, he pulls up basically a George Zimmerman yeah. and says, uh, you know, uh, it w wasn't me, it was m not only my drinking but her drinking and, you know, hey, stop being promiscuous and then maybe I wouldn't rape you behind a dumpster. Ah, don't do that, don't. 
I know, of course, he's not going to frame it that way, yeah. but it, his framing is actually worse because he's he's in essence saying it wasn't really rape. I, I, you know, she was she was asking for it by being promiscuous. Yeah. I mean, that's certainly how it sounds on the title of it. So rethink the title, rethink the idea, because this isn't going to help you. It isn't going to help anybody, and it's just going to make people angrier and angrier. When we should be looking for the real solution, which is an equal and fair justice system. There are people serving life sentences right now for possession of marijuana. Just think about that. Let that sink in. Together we can change the media, make it more representative of you and not the powerful. Come join us, make a difference. tytnetwork.com/join